I'm going to talk about them for a little bit here. Uh, and then hopefully they'll be here by the time that we're done. So we're going to be joined by Carla Pretorius. She's a registered counselor uh, and M has an MA in psychology. She's been working in the field of neurodiversity and mental well-being for nearly two years. Uh, nearly two decades, excuse me, I was going to say years. She received a double honors degree in clinical psychology, a master's degree in research psychology, and is an accredited counselor. We've got some experts for you all today. Uh, she was trained as an ABA therapist and case manager through CARD, the Center for Autism and Related Disorders, and is one of the two founders of a holistic support system, AIMS. She is also the chief clinical officer of Augmental Technologies, where they have developed Tracto. A uh, parent companion app for children uh, for children with behavioral and emotional challenges. Uh, so that's what we're going to be talking about today. Through Carla's years of experience, she ha has also focused on practical support strategies for parents and children that make actual and real difference in their families' lives. She has contributed articles for Moshi, Autism Parenting Mag Magazine, Autism Advocate Parenting Magazine, and other publications on a regular basis and has been invited to speak at various conferences, including World Autism Organization in Denmark. Carla's goal in life is to create affordable and sustainable options for parents and families with children with various abilities and help facilitate a calmer home environment. How much do we love that? She's going to be joined by Herman Lintvelt. Herman has 25 years of experience in creating software products and growing production software teams. Uh, he has been involved in various startups as well as start, uh, working on big enterprise systems. In 2020, he co-founded Augmental Technologies. It's a digital health startup with a mission to address the children's mental health crisis. Before that, he was part-time CTO of uh, Custis Media Technologies, uh, which also started Wilderness Software Company to support other teams in mentoring, training, technical assessments, and development needs. So he was very prepared for this. Uh, earlier, he was a chief architect and then head of the product for LifeQ Inc., where he realized the positive impact that technology can have on people's lives, especially when it comes to improving personal health outcomes. Uh, so we're very excited about hearing more about Tracto. Are they with us? Do we have Carla and Herman? Yes. OK. Let's let, let them in. Hi, you guys. And thank you so much Hello, for Shannon. having us. Ah, I'm so thrilled to have you. First of all, where are you coming to us from? How far away are you? I'm about 1,700 or maybe more kilometers. I'm in Portugal. I have no idea. It's very oh, far. Portugal. <laughs> and where are you, Herman? I'm joining from almost the most southern tip of Africa. I, that's what I thought. In a small village called Wilderness. So we, we've got uh, some fun here. That, uh, <laughs> is it the, so how late is it there? It's late at night, right? Not so late. Almost, it's, uh, yeah, it's 20 to 7 here. Oh, OK. That's not so yeah, bad. What hour later, yeah, almost 8. OK. I thought it was much, much later there. OK. Well, all right. We're really excited about this. And somebody that I love dearly was the person who said to me, Shannon, you've got to talk to these people. So um, I'm very, and I've been waiting. Uh, explain to us what Tracto is before we do anything. Sure. So Tracto, it, uh, it's a companion app, and it is there to empower parents. That's our mission. Um, and we want our kids, their kids, to thrive through using and utilizing Tracto. Um, you know, it, it, we've got three pillars that Tracto is built on. It's evidence-based micro-learning video guides, a collaborative tracking of emotions, behaviors, and routines, and it's AI-driven personalized engagement. So it really is an app that parents can use to, to gain those um, experiences and scenarios that they struggle with. We, we are asking our parents to give us the scenarios that they want to, to learn about. Um, and through AI, we can suggest the right type of videos um, for them. So it really is a, it's a free app that everybody can download. OK, so it's a free app. And you say it's a companion app. And then you said a lot of technical things that I understood some of them. But I want to know nuts and bolts. I'm a parent. I've got okay. a three-year-old that's been diagnosed on the autism. How am I going to use this app? 
So the first thing would be to create a profile for your child. Um, once you've created a profile, you can tell us, the app, <laughs> what you're really struggling with with your child. So whether it is sleep or communication, um, eating, you know, what, what you need for your child. Um, and then once you've created that profile, you can also do a snap for assessment or you could load other assessments within the app. Um, we would then suggest some specific videos, some micro learning videos, which is under five minutes long uh, for you for those specific scenarios that you mentioned that you struggle with. Uh, we also do tracking. So whether it is that you want to track the amount of moms or, you know, the amount of um, things that they're eating, different varieties that the, your child might be eating or not eating, you can track that and show that then to the rest of the team. You can add other members on the team. Um, so this can be your therapist or pediatrician or a co-parent, um, and they can track in different scenarios too. And then you can show this data to the to the rest of the care team. Um, Herman, am I missing something there? Because I might be. <laughs> that's a that's a really good summary. <laughs> yeah, it um, is. Yeah, I, I think I think that's good. I, and I love it because you know we were just talking about the fact that there's this long wait for people to get services and and people aren't getting enough services and there's so much need for to support parents and i love the fact that you know so if i'm i'm walking down the street with my three-year-old and my three-year-old keeps pulling and wanting to run away into traffic and i'm thinking to myself gosh i wish that i had an expert on call that could tell me what to do about this i can whip out my phone and on my free tracto app I can put in and, and, and describe what's happening, that my child wants to run away from me, and that you're gonna show me videos that can help me um, to understand how I might wanna intervene and be successful. It's evidence-based. You guys have done your research on this. Experts, fantastic. But then on top of that, I can track things, that if somebody says, how often is your child tantruming, I could track it on the app. Yes, exactly. You've got it. You should be the spokesperson for Well, us. I always like to say, um, like, like, if you explain it to me and if I can explain it back to you, then maybe I have it. Ex-teacher, so what can I do? The, other, this, the this. other part of it is also to, you, you can also add a journal entry. So if it's late at night and you just thought about something that you wanted to add and don't forget about, then you can definitely add that on a journal. Um, and that could also be shown to, to the other people in the team, or you can find more specific advice for that for that scenario so yeah. okay so now i want to step back for a second and talk about and maybe herman you have the answer for this why did you guys decide this needed to happen what was the itch here that needed to be scratched why why was it like why did you go we need this i think i know i, I but... think this there's there's actually different different backstories there depending on uh, if you talk to Carla or myself or one of the other founders. My my backstory I'm I'm also a parent with two beautiful children. They now they now teenagers, um, but also when we were younger we we also you know realized pretty quick that especially if you if you look like things that that we struggled with like anxiety for example, really getting care and getting proper advice and knowing what steps to take. And, and just being able to, to get that uh, healthcare support is really, really difficult. And, um, and uh, at that time, being involved with digital health, I just realized that with technology, we can actually do a lot with health. So I started all talking to a lot of other parents and friends, friends who had autistic kids and kids with ADHD, and we started talking to pa 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 pediatricians and psychologists and so on, and just realized, but. If you look at pediatric mental health, it's in the dark ages. Everything is paper-based, long waiting times, not enough healthcare providers out there really, and, and, and working inefficiently and in silos. And that's really where technology can play a role is getting better information, get, getting information flowing between everybody involved in that child's care journey, because it's not just one person. Usually the the parent is playing the role of the primary healthcare provider in the case of a child. 
That's, I mean, that's that's what it boils down to. And the parents doesn't have the support for that. And and we just started equipping them with better information, ability to share that information with everybody's working with their child. But then also in this process realized that there's a great opportunity to equip the parent to deal with a lot of situations at home. And, and that's really, I think, uh, where, where our companion app, the companion part is really shining, is being able to, to deliver that content to the parent while they're waiting for those um, appointments that might take very long, or while they, uh, you know, something's happening and, and it's gonna be a while before they can see a healthcare provider, then at least there's some answers already that I can work with and that can help them at home. Amazing. And so it should be said that this Tracto uh, is available right now, and it's not just for kiddos on the spectrum. It's for parents, any parent. Is that correct? But clearly, yes, uh, you have Carla, and Carla's an autism expert, so clearly you've taken autism into consideration, and, there, and it's a great resource for parents of children that have been, and teens that have been diagnosed with ASD, yes? Yes, yeah, so we we definitely started off more focusing on kids on the spectrum um, and kids with ADHD, but we soon realized, and I'm I'm pretty sure you're well aware of this, Shannon, is that a lot of parents would notice some behavioral or emotional challenge within their child, and they might not have a diagnosis yet. So we wanted to make it a, a little bit broader. Um, so to include those kids and those parents and, and giving them the support and the, you know, the therapeutic modalities that we're using is definitely evidence based. Like you said, it includes behavioral strategies, um, more so for the, for the kids. And then also a lot of mindfulness and positive psycho psychology for the parents, because I, I feel like parents are not taking enough care about for themselves. They're not taking those five minutes a day for themselves. Um, and even just the journal entry, I've seen such great, um, you know, so, such great, great progress with my with with my clients when when they take a moment for themselves. You have to look after yourself before you start looking after someone else. So that's why we wanted to empower the parents, but also provide them with emotional support and help their kids, of course. I, I love, you know, because we talk about mindfulness a lot here, and I love the fact that there's the journal component. I, just the other day, I was reading something that I had written on Facebook 16, 17 years ago when my son was being diagnosed, and to be able to look at that and see the space that I was in then and the space that I was in now, who, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a very powerful thing because when you're in it, sometimes you don't notice the progress that's being made. Talk a little bit about what you guys are seeing. How many minutes average do you encourage parents to be on it and what kinds of progress specifically are you seeing if parents spend even five minutes a day? Sure. Um Herman, do you want to talk about the minutes or do you want to I, I can talk about it? Uh, yeah, yeah, what, what, the, what we're seeing and, and you can talk about the impact. Um, so, so we actually initially almost brought journaling in as a, a side idea to, to, to get uh, a way for the care team, the parents and others that they might have invited to, to share thoughts and notes around the child. But then we quickly saw from actual data and actual usage that more and more parents are using this as, as a time to reflect on the day and on progress of the child and sometimes just themselves as well. Um, and, and we started evolving that. We're actually now about to release in June a ex very exciting update around journaling. And um, that also allows things like mood tracking of the parent, uh, a, a bit more of engagement around reflection and so on. And the reason we're doing this is because we actually see that being used so, so a lot. And, and we see to seeing the, the parents who are typically active, actively journaling and building that habit, engage more with our platform as well. Um, they, they typically make more use of the content they're more actively tracking progress of the child as well. Um, so that habit building around the journal and just that ability for them to, to look forward to the app because they have a bit of time to just reflect about the day or about the progress of the child. Um, or if maybe something bad happened and they can just kind of 
you know, write that down and, and maybe share it if they want to. Um, that, that, that just lets them come, come back more. So that's really almost surprised us how, how powerful this is. Yeah, well, and I think um, I'm not surprised. Just from, sorry, sorry, Shannon. <laughs> no, I just I'm saying I'm not surprised because one of the things that we often say in the autism community is when our child is diagnosed with autism, we feel like we're on a planet on Mars, per se, by ourselves. And being yes. able to journal and put it somewhere is a way to download and and to stay present. So I think it's brilliant. But what were you going to say, uh, Carla? Well, I really like what you mentioned um, when you said that you looked at a at an entry or at something that you wrote from years ago, because that's what we also learned in um, doing Ames Global is we we asked the parents to take a video of their child um, when they first meet us. And then we give and show them videos of ongoing progress. And it's really great for parents to see that. And with Tractor, they can keep it in one app. So they can have that initial video and they can load it on the journal um, entries. They can add other videos, sub subsequently more videos. Um, and, and that also takes them back, not just of their child and the progress that they're making, but also with the siblings and themselves and going on a date. Can you imagine going on a, on a date again as a parent? No, I can't imagine that. Uh, <laughs> no, I don't, I, will, you. will you say that to, I mean, my son is 20 and I still can't imagine that. So there we go. My husband is like, date? What's that? I have no idea what you're talking about. Um, okay. So how do people join the free community and talk about what that is? Sure. So that was actually part of the impact that we're that we're seeing is that we do a monthly community group. Um, I run those and Nanette does some of them as well. Um, and that's where we interact with the parents. We ask them to send some questions through beforehand. We delve into it with other parents. So it really is a parent support group. Um, once a month, that's for free. They can they can just go to our website, tractor.app, and they can join the community. The next one is on the 19th of June, I believe, at 2 p.m. Eastern time. Um, and what we do within that community is we then curate some of the videos that we add in Tracto from the, from the community sessions. I just want to mention that um, just so that the, the viewers know that we, we disclose everything, we have a free and a paid version in Tracto. So the free version is that you can do the tracking, the journaling. You can't add videos with the free version. Um, and you get two videos per month for free, um, Arman, right? That's correct, yes. And yes, yeah, so the paid version is you get all the videos for free and that's $4.99 per month, just $4.99 per month. So just to be completely transparent here. <laughs> no, that was going to be my next question because obviously you guys are doing all these great things. You can't do the whole thing for free. <laughs> Um, so yeah, I mean, don't we all wish I said, I started the show by saying, if anybody knows anybody who's just got, you know, money laying around, uh, <laughs> right. But that's not the case. Right. So, but for not, you know, you can start for free, see if you like it. And if you find that you're liking it or using it, you want more Four ninety nine a month is pretty reasonable as things go. Um, I, I super, super love that. I also want to say too, that, um, I am affiliated with the charity autism care today and, and they give grants to families for the things that families ask for. And they have given grants before to families for a year or two of something such as this that will actually help them. So if it is too much for you, $4.99 a month, I would suggest that you apply for a grant from Autism Care Today because um, I, you know, I think that that would be a well-received request. I uh, can't promise anything because I'm not on the grant committee right now, but I know in the past we have prioritized when somebody has found something that's like this at that level of a cost, it's a great expenditure for us because we know that they're going to get support and we can give more of them out. So, um, you know, there's that. So that's I also great. want to in, invite uh, viewers, you know, if, if you really feel that you, 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 you know, it's going to make that difference in, in impact in your life and, but you can't afford that. Reach out to us. Let's make a plan. Mm. There uh, you go. Yeah. So when we go to look for it, I'm assuming that it's on all of the, uh, app platforms. You can get an Android or 
uh, what's the other, you know, Apple. Apple. Uh, iOS. Yeah, yeah Apple, I never yeah, can remember cool. that. I always think of other letters. iOS. <laughs> um, yes. <laughs> so you can get it on either of those. And again, it is a free app to download it, but there is a paid portion if you want to have more access to more things on the app. It's amazing, you guys. I have to say, uh, you, the lead up for it was great. The person who said, oh, you got to have them on. This is a really, this is a thing we've been waiting for, Shannon. Uh, I always listen when she tells me things. And, she, and you didn't disappoint. Uh, all right. Thank you, Shannon. And I, I just want to say thank you to all the parents out there because you're the true, you're the only constant for, for your kids. You know, there are some rotating therapists and schools are going to change, but you're always there and you're doing all of this and watching all of this. And Shannon, you're doing this show for so many years now. So thank you to all the parents. You're the people that we want to serve. Well, thank you to you guys. I have to say that I, 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 I love your, um, your title there, Herman, because it, it says that you are a health transformer. Uh, and I, I think that's the coolest title we've ever had on here. I want to know if you're like Bumblebee and if you can change into a car when you're not doing health. Is that what that means? That, um, but, I, but here's the thing I want to say. You know, we've just gone through a couple of really rough years with the pandemic and the services for individuals that are on the autism spectrum have taken a ginormous hit. And, and we're not even halfway out of that. And I constantly say that I hope that there are brighter minds working towards solutions to get us out of this position and to support parents and the individuals on the spectrum to get to the progress they deserve. I think you guys are in that category, those brighter minds who have been working on this. This is important stuff. Chelsea wrote in and said, um, I'm so thankful I tuned in today. All the inf information today is exactly what we need. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, it's, this is vital stuff, you guys. So thank, thank you for taking the time. It matters what you're doing. Thank you, Shannon. Thank it's you. lovely to be here. <laughs> well, we look well, forward you. to we having you back. That. In, in, in the end, it takes an ecosystem of mm -hmm. a lot of people like yourselves you know, as well, and the parents mm -hmm. and everybody working together. That's the only way we're going to transform this. Oh, nice yep. bringing that one in. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. All right. Well, thank you, guys. We appreciate you taking the time to be with us. Have a, have a pleasant evening. Bye. Bye-bye. And enjoy your day. Cheers. Bye-bye.